Is it true that bees are responsible for like 80% of our pollination? This is what I read. That bees, at least in the US, bees are responsible for 80% of the pollination of yeah. all of our vegetation. So it's so tough, Melissa, because I figure, okay, you know, in 2050 or whatever year, right? Like, could we simulate what bees do? I have an arrow garden at home and this got me thinking. Um, it's an indoor hydroponic garden where you can grow herbs or whatever. And they sell this little handheld pollinator, which is very cute and even looks like a bee and it just vibrates. And you're supposed to go to each flower and kind of like hand pollinate. Now, obviously that's not sustainable large scale. It's, it can't, right? Like there's just no replacement. Right. So, okay. <laughs> like, and, you know, it, throw <laughs> out the pollinating stick. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, people try. I think yeah. people even have, like, we think we're so, like, technologically hip nowadays that we can do anything and invent anything, you yeah. know? So people actually try. I mean, they try these little uh, fake bees that can, you know, like tiny, um, yeah. They they fly, you know, yeah, like a, like, a, like robot, like bees. a robot, a little bee? robot bee, you know, or what you're talking about, which is kind of like a little handheld, handheld thing. thing, or yeah, but it's nothing as efficient like a bee, and it's not just that. The magic of what bees do is beyond people, so it's hard to describe because what they do is they're attracted to the flowers that are in their perfect prime of producing nectar. So bees and flowers have evolved together. And how presumptuous of people to think that 125, 130 million years later, we can come up with a fake bee Mm -hmm. and some hand pollination and... Also, people have recently come up with honey, but not made by bees. Mm. Wouldn't that just be syrup? No, they actually looked at the components of honey and recreated it in a lab. How do you feel about that? I don't feel so good about that. Me neither. neither. Because again, it gets back to like the genuine real magic of bees and and the genuine magic of our world. Our the natural, the natural world. world. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Isn't honey one of the only like food ingredients in the world that like doesn't actually expire? That they found honey. Yes. I read somewhere they found like honey in the pyramids that was still good. I mean, there's honey yes. that has antibacterial properties. Doesn't it all? Like, yes. It has so many, so many healing properties for the body. But honey's another part of this conversation. Yeah. And I learned this through you. You're not supposed to take the bees' honey. That's their food. That's their reservoir. <laughs> you be, I mean, I guess it's not surprising, but it still, it kind of surprises me that people don't understand that honey is bee food. Right. Oh. We think of it as something for us. Well, yes, hello, we, we think of everything as something, as something for, for us. something for us. Correct. Yeah. On the topic so of honey. bees in space. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Hey. Maybe we need to take the bees to space to save them. Maybe that's what we got to do. Yeah. Okay, so honey, I, I want to understand this too because yes, I know sweetie. that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> oh my God, the bee puns. I know you like me. It's I, great. Love it. I love we it. We need guys. the bee sound. So much. <laughs> we love you more. Oh. Hashtag save the bees. Okay. Um, honey, explain to people that because not only do we think that all animals produce things for us, right? but I feel like honey is one of those things that goes by the wayside because, again, people are scared of bees. People don't understand. Yeah, the weird thing about being someone who removes bees, you know, because people go honey and then there's an equal sign and then there's bees or bees equal honey. Uh, so Like that's what they're here for. That's what they're here for and there's no other purpose maybe people know about pollination. I don't know. But generally speaking, if I say bee, you say? Honey. Honey. Or, ouch. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, or I'm scared. Yeah. I run away. So with that and um, removing bees, often when I remove bees, people are like, can I have the honey? Or what are you going to do with the honey? Or like, this is the biggest deal is, you know. The honey. Yeah. like They're like, get these creatures out of here, but I want what they make. I want what they make. <laughs> right. I know. 
Um, and most of the time when I remove bees, they don't come with excess honey. And, uh, you know, I mean, you, unless you're a beekeeper, you wouldn't understand this. So it's, it's totally, right. I, I fully get it. But sometimes it takes a year or two, if ever, for a hive that I keep you know, to grow to a size enough that they make excess honey that I feel comfortable taking. Okay. So you so do it when you feel like... ethical, you know. What is the function of honey for bees? So it's just their food source. So they have two things that they get from the flowers. I mean, they get nectar and then they also get pollen, which is how they pollinate because they're collecting that pollen rubbing it on themselves, keeping it in their little leg sack. Their cute little so fuzzy cute. body. Oh my gosh. And then they go to the next flower and, you know, so they're providing that pollination, but they're also collecting the pollen to take home to the baby bees. Let's do this. Let's run it back. The way, like Jem mentioned, that we met Mielisa, which I'm going to call oh, her now. Oh, I love it. I love You're the that. first one to ever no call way. me that. Mielisa? Yes. <gasps> I love it. Works. So sweet. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes. So we, this is a, a big problem that people have. We had bees in our home. Yeah. And we had to call probably five, six, seven people yes. before we found someone that was not adamant about killing the colony. Oh, mm-hmm. right. And their reasoning, oh no. Some people were like, either way, they won't survive. You know, whatever run around, they'll give you to not save the bees. So right. we, that was not an option for us. Luckily, we found you and we had one outside, a hive outside. And we also had a hive inside. Well, it was kind of like in the, how would you describe soffit. it? Soffit. Yeah, it was soffit. in the soffit of our house. Right. I guess, which is like, I don't know. Some the one outside hive. was r- remarkable, though. Oh that God. is That was the, like a oh. personal experience it of was, the architecture of the bees. Because it was on a decaying palm front. Under the it palm was. front. That was already. And it was massive. It was massive. I I don't know how that didn't fall. I don't know either. Right. They picked the right type of palm tree. They're so smart. They're yep. so smart. Because it's not the kind, it's the kind where you have to cut the palm frond off. Right. It it's not the kind where it falls. just falls off. Oh. Right. Something that was incredible, I was observing how you were interacting mm. with both hives. And I was keeping my distance and, you know, nervous and resonating that energy. But you were singing to the bees. You had them in your hand. You yeah. were overjoyed and I wanted to know more about how you got to that energetic place so you started to talk to me about something and I remember this is what initially really sparked my giant love you started it for bees so if it's cool with you you can tell that story again about how the hive works and you know the recycling of the queen and and everything like that oh there's so much there's so much because they're a super organism so I get all excited um we share the excitement with you by the way so go full weirdo (laughs) right exactly oh my god so yes bees crawling on me they're they're really really soft they're soft like feathers you know and uh and most of the time bees are not into stinging anybody because they do lose their lives it's the female bees that sting because the males can't right right the males are just big flying they don't really do much (laughs) for the for the high take no they They do they do Yes. They re- they procreate with the queen. They procreate with the queen, so they pass on the genetics, which okay. is thing number one. And then? But they also create this gorgeous sense of well-being okay, within fine. the hive. We'll keep up. Yeah, we'll keep <laughs> up. Because they're but like at 10. Least they know their place. They're only about 10%. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Which is as it should be. <laughs> totally. They're, they're, they're really flying teddy bears. They're just like love buckets flying oh. around. The drones. Okay. The boys. I remember so you telling me, because I was like, Melissa, I'm scared of getting stung. Mm. You're like, that's a boy bee. Yeah. Let's do you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and I, I really, you you won me over from probably even before I met you, but you oh. really won me over at one moment when you were like, look at her. She's such a sweet little girl. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Because sometimes when you speak that way and you make that emotional connection to things, it changes your yes. relationship to it. And I was like, this is just a little sweet little girl. And she may be one of a thousand in here, but she's special. Okay, yes. so one of a thousand. I'm telling one of you. A thousand, I want to hear. Yes. The, the, I wanna so hear. the overall is that they have this incredible unity between all of them in, in a particular colony. And the cement of the colony is the, the smell, the pheromone. And that's the queen. So the queen has this very powerful scent. 
that keeps them together for years until, you know, eventually at one point, you know, she uses up her fertility and she starts to go on the waxing side, or the waning side, I should say. Yeah. Of, over of, the hill. Over the hill, <laughs> poor baby. <laughs> and so, uh, so they will replace her. What do you, you know? mean by that? Do they eat her and kill her? Well, honestly. Oh, yeah, honestly. Okay, yeah, bees Bees are also can be brutal because they're not like us all mushy and emotional like that. They <laughs> really believe in, in the greater good of all, mm. all of them together. And if it's best to have a new queen to continue for all, then they just murder her. Yeah. And why don't, don't they, they like put swarm her? her or put her like there's they like put this her ball. In a ball. Yeah. yeah. And they, they kind of like suffocate. And why can can't they take that ball to her. Palm Springs and right. drop her there? Right. Why do they have to kill her? <laughs> no, sometimes they do actually have two queens at one time. So they do allow the retired queen to kind of live out <laughs> oh, for a really? while That's as amazing. the new queen begins. They do sometimes. Aww. I've seen that. You've also told me when there's more than one queen, the colony has the ability to split. Yes. Which is really cool. Which is reproduction, but at the super organism level of the whole. Right. So when they split in two, people think it's scary to see a swarm of bees. <gasps> to me, it's like the music of the universe. Wow. Because they're, they're at their most docile mm. when they split into two. And half the bees, or maybe a little bit more, leave with the old queen, the old matriarch or mother. And they leave with her, and it's such a moment of hope wow. and like blind faith because they don't have a body, which is the comb anymore. They oh. don't have the food. They're not taking it with them except for right. what they put in their little stomachs. And they're just flinging themselves out to the world and saying, okay, we're going to maybe find start a over. Home. Yeah, so bees, maybe find a home. How, how long will it take a hive, like in this scenario, to land somewhere and set up shop well it's usually a matter of days wow but that's a long time and they're flying around the whole time in a swarm uh well the swarm lands where the queen lands so they usually pick a tree or you'll see them like on a fence or something oh. you know or on the side of a house or under a balcony yeah. or something and they're in a they're in a like a shape all together like a size of a i don't know football and the queen is in the middle there somewhere mm. So again, it's her scent that keeps them all glued wow. and hanging together and holding on to each other. And then they have scout bees. What's a scout bee? She goes around and she scouts for a new home. Oh, and then she comes back. And then she comes back and you know how she reports about it? Hey girl, I found a house. No, it's on the wait, I know this. <laughs> No. I kind of I know this because... It is kind of like that. <laughs> Except not singing, right? I... But she could be buzzing, which is she kind could of singing. be. Which you're right. Yeah, that is gonna say. But isn't it a dance? Yes. Don't aren't they? No. Yes. yes. Bees communicate like yes. through physical movement. She's movements. shaking her booty. No. <laughs> yes. The waggle dance. She's doing a little figure yes. eight, the infinity sign on the swarm itself, and she's communicating to all her sisters who are paying attention, but pretty much you know the whole thing, <laughs> and uh, whether the, the place she found is spectacular mediocre or poor no wow. way and if it's spectacular more and more of her sis scout sisters will go check it out no and when they check it out look th there's actually books on this research people have researched this and discovered this is what bees do i don't know how we re bee researchers are amazing wow, people yeah but the when they go and they find a cavity whether it's your soffit or inside a tree or something like that they take measurements what? The bees take measurements. They walk it. They walk it. And also by the sound vibration within the cavity. Yeah, like the, rever the reverb. Yeah, the reverb. And then they are also checking for the holes there, oh. like access. Like how sturdy it is, lots how of, they can get lot, in A out. whole bunch of different things. And, and this is the hard thing for homeowners. When, when they scent that a previous hive has been in that space, they automatically favor it. Oh, which is why pheromones. which is why bees keep coming back unless you really really, really block it up oh. wow yeah so if you see a bee on their own they're either scouting or away from like from what i'm gathering bees kind of work as a unit if yes. they don't have honey if they don't have a home if they what don't about have a when queen, they go to what about when they go to like feed or pick up nectar do they do that in groups as well or are they kind of they tell each other they communicate a lot 
So they'll say, oh, look, lavender flowers over there. They'll communicate that with their sisters. Wow. They twerk it. They totally <laughs> twerk it. <laughs> Launching.